Welcome back to Back to Baskin. I am Back to Baskin, and this is Shadow of the Colossus. Um, I just got done recording like 15 minutes of this, because I tried going ahead and, and going to the 7th Colossus. And uh, usually I can find it pretty easily, but for some reason it took me like 15 minutes and I still couldn't find it, and I took the route I always take. For some reason I was getting lost, because I just haven't done it in so long, I guess. So I looked it up, and it felt really stupid because apparently there's an alternate way of, of getting to it that I never really tried that's incredibly simple and actually like I got kind of angry at myself for not even like noticing it because like it's in plain sight it's ridiculous I mean it's about a uh, from what I saw it's about like a five minute trek but that's I mean they said like there's a shorter way which would I was what I was trying to do that I always do but it's very confusing because you're basically inside of a mountain and the the mountains block off the sun, so you can't refer to your sword in order to find out where to go. And you have to take a bunch of branching off paths and just gamble on the fact that you're taking the right one. And I just kept taking the wrong one continuously. I ended up at, a, at like the lake where, where Gaius was, the third Colossus. And uh, I got all the way to Argus's, the 15th Colossus. Like, I pretty much found every Colossus except the one I was looking for. So what's funny is basically we're just going extremely all the way to the north and then turning left. And it's basically like, right there is the area where the Colossus is. And I, I, I got so angry at myself, I was just like, oh my god, why? <laughs> it's just, ugh. So let's hope, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm are like, already forgetting which way to go. Like, from what I remember, they just went straight north and then went left. Now watch that be wrong. Also, right here, all these, like, spires to the right that form this bridge. That's the bridge you came in on at the beginning. And, uh, at the end of the game, uh, something happens on that bridge. I won't spoil it, though. You can probably guess, because there's only, like, one thing that can really happen to a bridge, so. Oh, let's just keep going. That looks like a bombable rock right there from Twilight Princess. So, too much Twilight Princess on the brain, don't I? So, let's see where this, uh... This goes. Alright, so where exactly are we headed? I already forgotten. And that's definitely not a good thing. So yeah, let's try to go through here. See that. Please tell me it's not over that way. I remember seeing them go left in the video, but is there even anything over here? I feel like there's nothing over here. There's nothing over here. Wow, this is what happens. I already forgot that video. It was uh, The problem is the video was so fucking boring. I started to zone out. It took like five minutes to actually get there. Now my phone's ringing because somebody's calling. They're like, okay, Hunter, you've spent goddamn 20 minutes on this. We're just going to hold your hand. Like, fucking developers probably on. Is that it right there? I, I, I don't remember. That kind of looks like it. Sort of. Please let this be it over here. I feel really dumb if it is, though. Like, really stupid. All kinds of stupid. It probably is. I felt really stupid when I watched that video. I feel, I feel really stupid right now. I'm fucking stupid in general. This, this video is just about my stupidity. And I'm pretty sure this is actually where I'm going to go. Why are you slowing down, horse? God damn. You kept doing that in the... In the in the video I trashed too, that was like 10 minutes, or like 15 minutes long. Just it would start slowing down out of nowhere, it would take even longer. But yes, this is where you want to be. My god. How simple that was. That could have taken like 3 minutes. Instead it took like 20. Man. Yeah, it took a whole like 1 HP right there. And it just automatically recovered. <laughs> that was, uh... Wow. Well. So now that we've wasted like four and a half minutes getting here, let's watch me spend like 30 minutes just trying to kill this Colossi, because I'm obviously just bust through six Colossi, and then it's like, oh, that's where your streak ends. It's just going all downhill from here. And based on this, I'm definitely not going to get through the first eight and two hours. So we... Oh, God. Now you want to make your way down here, and uh, the Colossi is right there. You can see it right there. Like I said, it's an electric eel. 
I can get the camera to go right. Oops. Not right. I meant, like, proper. God, fuck it. Maybe I can do this. Oh, okay. It's not registering the claws out there. If you press, uh, L1, it'll, uh, focus on the colossi whenever it's near you. But, no. Nah. That's as best as I can get it. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, that right there, that's the Colossi. It's just sitting there waiting. That's its head right there at the bottom that you can see. Where uh, that one spike by itself is. That's its head just staring up at us. It's got three spikes in total. They serve as small sigils. You have to take out each one to get to its head where the main sigil is. More like Sigilith. Pokemon. Also, again, there's a... Uh, uh, see, I'm already forgetting that. I think in the video, the one I scrapped, I was talking about how there's an eel Pokemon. And I, and I was like, there's an eel Pokemon, right? And then I was like, yeah, because I caught one in, like, Y version or, or Omega Ruby. I don't remember which. And I remember because it was like, it's an actual electric eel Pokemon. It's like half water, half electric or something. And it's a fish, but it's electric. And uh, and, and it has, like, three forms. Like, it has the its first form and then two evolutions. And, uh... I was like, yeah, there's definitely one, because I caught it. So ideally what you want to do is you kind of want to swim out into the open. You don't want to hang out by the uh, by the tower thing, because then it's not going to trigger what you need it to. Uh, essentially, you want to swim out in the open, and you want to wait for it to double back on you. So this tail right there. Kind of scary. It reminds me of that giant fish from the Phantom Menace when Qui-Gon Jinn's like, there's always a bigger fish. There, it reminds me of the bigger fish tail like that. Oh god, it made that noise. Yeah, basically it makes that noise. It goes kind of like a formed whale or something. Kind of terrifying. So get out of the way of the, of the spikes, because they'll electrocute you, obviously. And yeah, see, he's like trying to surface to shock you. If you get a little shock, that's fine. I probably will. Yeah, see, I don't care. And what you want to do is you want to grab onto its tail as soon as it surfaces. Right there. So we got it. We only took a little bit of damage. That's, that's no big deal at all. Probably does a lot more when on your first playthrough. When uh, in a long time since I've done first playthrough, I probably should have done that just for the sake of like, oh well, Hunter, you have a huge advantage with this game because you just kind of like one shot all the Colossi and have huge stamina and health bar. So most playing, but I had to play this for the first time when I first played it, so I know what it's like, how difficult it is, and that's why I chose to do it this way. I didn't want to face bass running with the tiny ass stamina bar. It's like, no, fuck that. Bass around the dick. I don't feel like falling off because I have a small stamina bar and having to redo that shit like a thousand times. Let's take out this one. That's one taken out. I think you can take out two, possibly three of the spikes on your first uh, run through on his body. But you definitely can't get to his head. Uh... He knocks you off before you can get to his head. Well, actually, he doesn't knock you off. He stays underwater for so long that you have to let go. No matter how big your stamina bar is, he, he just stays underwater. You can't get to his head the first time. So it's actually, it makes it quicker if you, uh, after you hit this third spike, if you just let him go. Unless this is when he doesn't surface. Very well might be. Actually, I'm starting to think it is. Come on, are you going to surface? Come on, surface, surface, surface. Come on, dude. Surface. Come on, surface, surface, surface. Yeah, he's not going to. This is the part where you have to let go and wait for him to do it again. What a dick. I hate him. Look how far down we are. My god. This, this would terrify me. I can't even swim that well. That would fucking terrify me. I would never recover from that. I would have so much fucking PTSD. Look how long he is, too. Like, that's what she said, but... My god. Look at this. We're, like, out in the middle of nothing. If he decided to eat us right now, we would be fucked. The interesting thing about this Colossus, too, is after you take out all three spikes, it can't hurt you at all. Because the spikes are the only way of attacking you. Because, for whatever reason, it can't try to eat you or anything. So, I mean, once we take out this third spike, it can't hurt you at all. 
You can render it entirely helpless. Grab on. And here we go. Once again. Here I go again on my own. Walking out the only road I've ever known. I go ripping off the D pad again, right? Does, does this. I want to like ask people, does this Let's Play feel different from the other ones? Because to me, this honestly feels different, like from like all my other Let's Plays, like Twilight Princess, Midas Cap, all that stuff. And Pokemon Red vs. Blue is already different, just because it's me and Kevin, like that's just fucking erratic and asinine. Not in a bad way, it's just fucking ridiculous. You know, it's like, like I'm not saying Kevin and I are professional or like mature people, but you'll you'll definitely notice like when when one of us. Let's plays individually, or we're like really good at the games we let's play and everything, and we're like know what we're doing and all that, and uh, we're at least somewhat mature and actually talk about the game and stuff. When we do like, when him and I do games together, we just go like, ah, oh, dicks, and that's uh, the extent of our commentary. Oh, really? That didn't actually do anything. Fuck you. I was right on that that stupid thing. There we go. I don't take that out. Oh, yeah, this is the problem, too. He's gonna, like, go underwater a lot. So he's like, no, you can't hit my sigil. There we go. One good shot was all I needed, and I got it. This video is a lot shorter than I thought it'd be. I thought it was gonna be, like, fucking 40 minutes long. It's not even the longest one. What was the longest one? I wanna say it was, like, Quadratus. The second one, I think, was the shortest. I think it was like only like seven minutes, something like that. Ten at the most. All right, let's swim away. Get into the water. We can swim faster when we're on the water. Look at all the floaties in the water. Kind of gross. It's probably like Hydrus's poop. She's just like pooping in this lake. Well, where else is he gonna poop? I'm saying like poop, poop, poop. I'm actually getting away somehow. Oh, no. <laughs> well, there there goes that theory. I need to eat. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do Colossi 7 and 8, and then I'm going to eat, just so I can eat when I'm like halfway through the game as a motivation. This took so long getting this Colossi. Now I'm just like, I don't have, I don't have the strength to get through the 8th one, even though it'll be like significantly easier to get to. It's definitely a challenge to face, though. I mean, it's uh, called... Kuro Mori, it's like the only one to have like a really Japanese name. And it's uh it's one of the smaller ones. It's like the third third smallest. There's two smaller ones, and then there's the they're about the same size, but they're the two smallest ones. Kuro Mori is the third smallest. And uh he's still a lot bigger than you. All the Colossi are bigger than you, but he's not he's like the size of like I'd say he's like a little bigger than a truck. Like a big truck, like a big Van, actually. Bigger than a van. The other two, the two smallest ones are like the size of like a like a regular truck or a big car or something. Like, they're not huge, but they're still bigger than you. And that will be all for this episode of Shadow of the Colossus. Thank you for watching this video that could have been a lot better, but it also could have been a lot worse, especially if I kept the first 15 minute long one. Uh, anyways, uh, again, thank you for watching. I'm back to Baskin. This has been Shadow of the Colossus. And in the next video, we will take on Kurumori, the smallish lizard colossi Pokemon. I will see you there.